Nope, you're wrong. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Hyundai Accent GLSI. <laughs> Now, at this point, I'm sure a great many people in corduroy trousers are thinking, that's a brand new little car, a car that's awash with novel touches. And they're right. Look, if I pull this handle here, the door opens. Then you get inside, turn the key, and the 1.5-litre engine bursts into life. There's nothing really on this car that comes as a nasty surprise, but crucially, there's nothing much to like either. There is, however, plenty to talk about. I mean, if I press the pedal on the right, for instance, I go a tiny bit faster. If, on the other hand, I press the pedal in the middle, I slow down. And then if I turn this circular device, like so, the whole car goes round a corner. Then I've got this knob here. If I turn it to the right, the cabin heats up. And to the left, it cools down again. There's a thing in the middle of the dashboard, for instance, which can pick up radio waves. And then there's the pièce de résistance. Some things in this car move about using electricity. If I push this button here, the window is lowered. But if I want to remove this window, I can think of a much better plan. The Hyundai has to die because it's made in Korea, a country where they eat dogs. I'm not joking. Over there, a dog is not just for Christmas. There should be some left over for Boxing Day, too. So, as I come from a nation of animal lovers, I've decided to get my own back and have the accent turned into a Isa. A banger racer. And to help me destroy it, I've been joined by a bunch of animal liberationists and dog lovers who've turned up with a selection of cars and... Oh, no. What's he doing here? Tiff, you Jeremy. hate dogs. Uh, correct, I do hate dogs. They bark, they jump up on you and they poo all over the place. So what are you doing here? I hate you even more, Jeremy. You've come all the way down here just to bash me up. Exactly, yes. And go. you think this is the tool for the job? Yes, go on, get in your high and die. Go I'll on. see you out there. Indeed you, you will. There, you're dead. I can assure you. Dead. Right. Let's slip the dogs of war. I decided the best way to keep the dogmatic Tiff at bay was to push him round while the others tucked into my tail, but I gave up with this plan when he started to get abusive. It's a doggy dog world! You're not gonna get away! I'll have you! You're barking up the wrong tree there, mate! Oh no! My doggy bag's gone off! My doggy bag! It's still working! It's still going! Even with the doggy bag deployed! We're going again! Now, most people took it in turns to have a nibble at the accent, but Tiff suddenly decided to be a dog in a manger and kill me all by himself. <laughs> and I decided that I should let sleeping dogs lie. But then he came at me again, doing about 400 miles an hour. <laughs> and he missed again. The man was like a terrier staging attack after attack. Then, with everyone else out of the running, it became a two-man war. But I'm afraid that when the end came, it was pathetic. It was, however, just enough to kill the Triumph Dogamite, and an enraged Tiff decided to extract his revenge manually. And that didn't work either. Holy <laughs> He 
Even after I'd been run over, there was still life in the old dog, so I decided to take it on a little trip to the kitchens of a restaurant I know. It. We have rained punches on that thing all afternoon and it's still fighting back. Look, I'm bleeding. Look. You're going to pay for that, sunshine. You're going to pay. I'd like you to meet a big metal friend of mine. He's called Derek. He's a chef, and he's going to show the high and eye what it's like to be eaten. First of all, we peel back the skin and we remove the useless offal using giantized tweezers. This can then be discarded as it's useless. Then, very carefully, we pick up the car and we lower it into the Moulinex Magimix. We set it to extra squeeze and wait a moment while the car is flattened. Let the juices drain from its pores, then remove and lower gingerly back to the ground. And the beauty of this is that A, the nodding dog is unharmed, and B, the styling and performance is improved no end. <laughs> and there you are. Oh, uh, see you next time.